Hi, my name is Tracy with the West Virginia University Extension Service Family Nutrition Program. Today we're going to be making a garden vegetable soup. So first we're always going to wash our hands for at least 20 seconds with warm soapy water. I've already done that so that we could jump right into this recipe. So before we start cooking, we're going to prep our vegetables. So we're going to have two carrots chopped, one large onion, a cup of chopped cabbage, one medium zucchini, you can use green or yellow, I happen to have green, two tomatoes or a 14 and a half can of tomatoes, I'm using canned tomatoes today, and one can of green beans with um, the liquid or um, you can also use fresh green beans. We're going to be using um, broth instead of water today, so you can either use vegetable or chicken broth. You're going to need two 14 and a half ounce cans. So I've prepped some of the vegetables, but I thought I'd show you um, how I cut my onions. So I try to peel off um, kind of the outer pieces of um, paper here, and I don't work too hard on it because I'm going to cut it in half and then it'll be easier. I grab my onion, keeping my hands out of the way, and I slice it right down in half. And I'm pretty quick to cover the open ends. That's the part that makes our eyes water as we're cooking. And then working with one half at a time, I will peel the onion. Make sure you always wash your onions before you get started. Uh, they do grow in the ground and lots of people have handled them from the farm uh, to our kitchen. So make sure that we wash them and then peel the outer sides. Um, keeping the flesh side down, I remove the top of the onion and then I'm going to make cuts, not all the way through my onion, but just part of the way, keeping my root intact. Once again, that's going to help with the uh, making your eyes water and cry. And we're going to make slices all the way across our onion, not quite all the way through. Then we're gonna go back and we're gonna cut in the opposite direction. I'm making my slices as far apart as I made my other slices wide so that we end up with some really nice cubes. I always try to keep my vegetables about the same size for a soup so that when I'm on my, when I grab it all on my spoon, I get a little bit of every flavor. So now we'll have nice cubes of onion to work with and I'm going to place them over here. Once we have all of our vegetables prepped, we're going to heat up a pot on our stove and I'm gonna go ahead and get that up to a medium high heat. You can use a vegetable spray or you can use just the smallest bit of olive oil or vegetable oil, just a tiny bit, um, not even a tablespoon. And the water from our vegetables will also help them to keep um, sticking from the bottom of our pan. So we're looking at a medium high heat. We're going to add the onions and the carrots and saute them for about five minutes. And then we'll add the rest of our vegetables. We always wanna make sure our pan is nice and hot before we go putting them in there. So I'm gonna give it a minute and then we'll start adding into our pot. So into my hot pot, I'm going to add my carrots and onions. That sizzle means that my pan is hot and ready to cook. I'm gonna grab a spoon. I like using a wooden spoon um, so that I don't ruin my pan. And we should hear that sizzle. And we're going to brown our vegetables for just about five minutes on a medium low heat. Once our onions and carrots are lightly golden brown and a little translucent, we're going to add our broth. And like I said, I'm using a vegetable broth today. A vegetable broth or chicken broth. You're gonna add your chopped cabbage. 
your green beans that are not green, so that's gonna add a little more liquid. We're going to add our two tomatoes or our 14 and a half ounce can of tomatoes. Our Italian seasoning and our garlic powder. We're going to combine all of this and bring it to a boil. Once our soup comes to a boil, we can turn it down to a low heat. So we're gonna turn it back down to a low heat. And we are going to simmer it for 15 minutes. So we wanna try and take that boil out and we just wanna have a low simmer for about 15 minutes giving our carrots time to soften and become tender. Once our carrots are tender, we can stir in the zucchini and we're gonna cook for three to four more minutes. Our zucchini will become bright. We just don't want it to become mushy. So we'll let that cook for a few more minutes. You can add a little salt and pepper to taste, but this recipe really doesn't need much. There's so much flavor in the Italian seasoning and the vegetables that are in here. Once you have seasoned it and tasted it, um, it's ready to be served. It tastes delicious hot and maybe with um, some whole grain um, bread or a salad on the side for a warm summer dish. Thank you so much for joining me making our garden vegetable soup today. I hope you all enjoy it.